So a very quick follow-up video here, number four in our series of three. I, I was curious about something I didn't understand about this panel, so I went and played around with it further. And then I also discovered an additional feature that I quite like. So I would like to show you those two quickly. Now, the first one, I'm going to open the surround panel of this surround track. And remember when I um, enabled this XYZ flip and I rotated, depending on what I had selected things rotated differently now it's not doing that now because i've played with the settings but i've realized since that these little tick boxes at the bottom that's what um what affects the behavior so if you do have this ticked it activates the option to to choose things in the inputs here and how they're going to play now obviously the z one is not going to come into play here because that's the high channel but if i have certain x's ticked and now i rotate they rotate differently based on which ones are flipping here or not. Uh, and if I have them all selected, then you'll see when I rotate now, they're all rotating together. So you can actually have some very interesting behavior in terms of how multi-channels pan around. So obviously it's not just about rotation here. You can select some of these other options too, and this will affect how things move around. Now, what I also discovered, which might be common knowledge for you already, is similar to multiple clips and multiple automation points and other things in Reaper, you can select multiple pucks in the surround pan with a right click and drag. Now I've got edit all selected, so edit selected, I can select the front three or the side two based on that click and drag and that behaves in a certain way. Another thing I quickly want to show you here, and for that I'm going to open my stereo tracks resurround pan. I don't have definitive answers yet on the difference between the 5.1 ITU and 5.1 surround other than what I can notice visually here, but you can see that the, the movement of pucks, especially if you use some of these controls, um, is a little bit different. So for the ITU, it really moves along the circle, but have a look at what happens when I move all the channels and I'm moving them rear to front and now I'm moving that guy it's going straight to the back but because they've kind of simulated that 110 degree itu placement of speakers it actually goes to the back not to exclusive speakers left and right even though it's a straight front to back movement um, which is not standard i can't imagine why i'd want to do that or why having this wider speaker in terms of moving a puck or panning is a good idea but if you don't like that you can just go to the 5.1 setup and you'll see if i reset it if i started my left and right seat speaker now it behaves like a more traditional surround panel uh, and it moves directly to those speakers depending irregardless of how far you have them spaced in terms of your rear channels um, in terms of rotation you'll see that they also do go along all the speakers so i can't really see what the the value add is for this arrangement in terms of moving stuff around or anything else so please do comment on this or let me know if you know why um, this one is better for anything other than the visual um, layout that we have here but something else that i found and that is quite useful in terms of if you are doing lots of panning and lots of automation and you don't want to open the resurround panner uh, you have the option to and this is my stereo track one if you right click on that you can also find it elsewhere you can embed it in the the um, mixer or the track i'm assuming cp is a i don't know control pane don't know what it stands for but i'm going to embed it on the track the TCP, let's call it that, and you'll see now you've got your main control over there in your track, which is great if you just want to use some automation where you drag stuff around and you enable right and you automate that right in the track here. You have to click on that little tiny arrow to open the resurround pan, which on its own is already enough of a value add if you don't have a mixer open to get to this resurround pan. Um, control obviously you can't set any of the other things whatever you've got the settings at here in terms of how things are supposed to move that's just going to, it's just going to be the the banner and the packs you've got there but that is a very useful thing to embed straight on your tracks have fun with surround